Okay, here's R2D2. Um, and I'm listening to some German news channel. I guess it's my favorite. And they're talking about immigration. They can't get those high tech workers to come to Germany from India. They have to, they all want to go to America and Canada. There's R2D2. And uh, oh, yeah, here's this baby. Um, I could be getting into cassettes more. Well, no, no, that's not true. That's not true. I, I was going to buy another cassette player, but I decided against it. I'm, I'm okay for now. This baby. Problems with the shifting on the 45. Long story there. Anyway. Um, this is the new toy of a few minutes ago. It's um, just right here. Hoppage, 95, something. And um, this is the crappy TV I listen to or watch. Oh, this is amazing. I'm in Germany suddenly. Pretty fucking cool. All right, so plenty of Asian channels. I get about 50 channels, I, I'm guessing. Man, eh, 40. Who knows? But, um... I, Personally, I only like three of them, probably tops. And oh yeah, here goes Whitey. Go for it, girl. Okay. Well, this is a letterboxed crap. This is this is Asian shit, Vietnam. Um, but then we get Whitey Channel coming up here, um, down on the low channels. This is kind of cool. This is a world. This is World Channel. This is actually pretty fucking good because they they show like. Cool documentaries, and right now it's at news hour. It's the middle of the day here. BBC World News. Oh, okay, that could be interesting. BBC World is pretty fucking solid. Adverts. Okay, crap. Okay, it runs a local channel, so it's kind of sensational and kind of lame, but you know, amateurish. But we like that. And then finally, the the big one, Channel Two. Oh. Yeah, this thing is like, whoa, dude, like full on, like cable, dude, like I got it, but it's free. It's like wonderful, wonderful, um, what's it called, the fidelity, but shit programming. Like this is the, this is the thing I would like to, I would like to shoot all these people in short or peel their skin and boy, boiling water on them. Anyway, um, so that's the, the, the dilemma, my dilemma. So, uh, what else? Got a bong. I mean, I mean, a uh, hookah. I don't use it. So there's that. Oh, and then the keyboard. This is a badass gamer keyboard, which is kind of overstock. If you want to buy it, you may. Um, 80 bucks I paid for that thing. Um, person didn't need it. I think that's it. Um, I think that's it. This. Speakers. America is wonderful because it's used in many parts of the world. It's cool. Oh, the antenna. This antenna was like uh, for this station in particular. So I, it's a B&O antenna. But I didn't want to use this antenna. And I'm working on a roof antenna. What happened is, is that all the stations are going to the same place. All the stations are in the same place. Um, they're over Knob Hill. It's I don't know how to describe it. Well, right off this window. Like in a diagonal. It's going shoo. All the stations are like wow. That way, over Knob Hill. Shoo! And I'm up on the roof, and there's maps, and fucking Google Maps, and they show you exactly. It's very cool, like the right degrees. It's very fun. I did that years ago. And so I know where my, I know where I am in this universe. Oh, here's some fine records. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, yeah. Seriously cool. Import records, you know. Yeah, very fine. Very, very interesting. Rare records. Awesome. Shit, um, and more records. Um, they're not all that cool, but I got this this many Bowie records, that many Bowie records, about four inches, and um, you know, whatever. Uh, rare, imported, post punk, stuff like that. Um, what's my point here? Oh, yeah, look at this sexy record from um, England. England. Yeah, nice. Yeah, well, we like that. 
Anyway, um, the oh, there's more to that record than meets the eye. That's right. That's right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, fun, fun stuff. Um, the um, okay, so I'm going. The stations are all this way. And so I like I tune, I have an antenna that points, this antenna, any antenna points that way, but then I can't get this classical station. And so they turned out that they, they someone bought and sold the station, it was a big uproar, and then they moved it to non-commercial classical. So one where we had one of the last commercial classical stations on earth or in the you US, know, and they finally went non-commercial because of the market it was bad. And then um, they put it uh, in uh, by the, the other side of the bridge, so like on the other side of the Golden Gate Bridge. It's where the transmitter is, which is the opposite direction. It's about 70, I'm sorry, 140 degrees away from, from this direction. And so the classical music, it's, they got, they're talking now, but the classical music sounds shit. It still sounds shitty. And they changed the quality of the components. So it doesn't sound as good. It used to sound so good. And, and I'm going to tell you this, you know, right now that one reason why I got into classical music is because of that station sounding so beautiful on this this stereo. There's only a few really good receiver uh, tuners on the in the world, and one of them was Macintosh. Tanberg made one, and this this one, and maybe one or two others. Mostly people didn't care about FM, but there's a few tuners that sounded great, and this one was one of them. It just happened to be I got lucky, and um, Bo Master Eight Thousand, and um, and this this particular thing practically put B&O out of business. So this thing was really fucking, I got two of them. Uh, there's like 50 pounds of, it's just incredible. Yeah, anyway, that's a, this is this is always the heart of the system. But anyway, this doesn't sound like, I know there's noise, there's background noise, which I think I can remove with a better antenna, which I'm working on. But the quality of the sound doesn't it doesn't it sounds um, harsh? Yeah, before it was very fluid. It was in, insane. Oh, this is pretty basic control panel. I mean, it's really not that exotic. Just you know, um, there's really not that much going on here. Really not that much going on here. Basic shit. And this lid lifts up, and then and then all the wire wires come out of there. And that's a clusterfuck, but it's kind of a friendly one because it does tuck the wire, wires away pretty good. The different inputs, nothing too exotic here. FM intent input. So that's basically it. This is it's just closed all the time. And then this thing is this thing's fucking lovely. This thing's a lovely little beast. So whatever for what it's worth. Anyway, um, I'll play that later at some other point. But that's the whole FM thing. So this weekend, all this stuff is fresh. I put this um, antenna in this cup. I finally couldn't find a way. What am I trying to say? I couldn't find a way to mount this antenna. So I finally like scrounged the house, and this works like nuts. And I think it looks kind of cool with the, you know record on there and the bunny ears. I think that looks. I think I like that. Ooh, this is another good record. Love that. That's my favorite font of all fucking time right there. It's a guy, the guy who did that's a graphic designer, he's famous. But love that, love that record, love that. It's a, it's, I can go on about that, it's a special, special piece. Anyway, so that's the con of the latest tour. Keyboard, um, two weeks old. This baby, this nonsense. Like the worst television, it's, it's 31.1. That comes up. No, it's, it, I don't even know how to get to my favorite, my German channel. That's all I care about is like some fringe, fringe channel that shows like exotic fare. Why would I watch TV at all? You know, it's 31.1. Ah, uh, I'm fucking that up. Anyway, um, oh, here's the, this is kind of boring. The box. Is there anything interesting around here? Um, <gasps> nothing. Here's pictures of Axel. Is a lad, is a boy, is doing that. Um, yeah, those are the main toys of the week. The main toys of the week. Oh, that's kind of fun. Oh, here's the instructions for the um, speaker surrounds. It's kind of fun. Um, let's see if there's anything else going on here. AB switch. A B A B switch for the uh, 
tape two input. Tape uh, tape one is um, starts this. I've also had a little, uh, little. This is actually recording. This is actually a recording of that classical station before they switched the station. And it sounds better than the live station now. But now I'm not talking about the background noise or anything or the static. I'm talking about the quality of the sound, the like the, the liquidity of the sound. This is, this, this is a cassette. Oboe. The old oboe. Is that clarinet? Yeah, clarinet concerto. I'm so sad that they took away that quality. I mean, you can't, what can you fucking do about that? And the big thing here is that, um, the big challenge here, this is Christmas of two years ago, 18 months ago. Wow, so cool. Sounds so beautiful. And these tapes are BASF. I had them loaded about 10, 15 years ago. I had, I had these made, custom made. No, no Dolby. Um, the um, such a it's a fine it's a really good cassette deck and I bought it on I bought it at a thrift store for eight dollars and I worked on it. Um, Mozart. The trick here is that um, I have um this is every very dominant in, in appearance obviously, and this is this is very seventies and this is very eighties. This is super eighties, and, and I like the like. How, what could be more like electronics is God than that thing? It's just so fucking amazing, and you know, I don't know. And it's also really thin, so these pillows are really ruining the effect. But like, you know, it's really thin, and that's kind of the way it goes. And um, and then there's the cool antenna. So um, that's really 80s, and then this look is very 70s. And there's a reason why I removed the the thing. I, it's not for it's look industrial. Um, let me I'll throw a slap on a record. Slap on a fucking record real fast. To give it a little more aesthetics. Put on a fucking record. Notice no um no fingies. No oils. So there, that looks normal. So anyway, um so that's really 70s. And this is really 80s. And I play with these to try to integrate. Like this piece is not small. I don't know if you, it's just not small. And this is B and O trying to do stackables. And had a sh like five years of doing stackables, and they they reluctantly did stack stackables, and um, of course it sounds like fucking insane sanity. I mean the sound. This is oh, in fact the speakers aren't even set up. This is two speakers uh, and a subwoofer this time. Um, oh, the subwoofers is typical hundred dollar, typical hundred dollar speakers expressed Dayton, I think. Typical, typical stuff going on back there. Anyway, I'm not that focused on the bass. I mean, it seems pretty easy and sloppy, and doesn't really matter to me. Anyway, um, so the hardest thing was to get the look of this '80s and this together. The record player and this looking normal together and not like, and this fucking thing. And then also integrating this, because this is huge. This thing is huge, this cassette's big. It just is, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's hard to describe how big it is. Um, and it's open up and it's chock full of crap, uh, components. Cap capacitors, unfortunately. Anyway, um, how to, um, so finally I like mounted this whole thing to the wall. This is mounted to the wall. This is mounted to, these two things are mounted to the wall, and these two mount to that, one of these stands. These are, these stands, I bought two of them, and that's another one. So, to get the aesthetics, to get this, to bridge the 70s with the 80s, I fucking, finally fucking, I mean, I fucking, I thought it was masterful to do that, what I did there. And it was not fucking easy. And the other thing is, is that I have this record, like, just about half a centimeter from the, from the wall. It's actually behind the molding. See, it's actually behind the molding. It's tucked in there. 
So to, to push the whole thing back, I mean, I love the fact, and I had to take the dust cover off of the record player um, forever, you know, it's parked, um, so that I could get it there. Because records are huge, especially in little North Beach apartments. Records are huge. And so I had to kind of tuck that record player away. Because this thing's huge. This thing, this this record player, when it, the top, dust cup on is just gigantic. Oh, just is, just is. And um, anyway, um, the um, where was I? Yeah, I just this is what this is the reason why I'm dwelling on this is because I, this is like for me the most masterful thing I've done in a long time and creative is to try to shoehorn this this decade with that decade, put them together in the same room, and to make it all sound good and and I mean work properly. All this is controlled with um remote too, and it's well controlled. This remote's out of battery, so there it is. But and I'm on order. But this thing is like. I can rewind and fast forward and record, and that doesn't look like much, but just trust me, this remote's the awesomest thing, the most awesome thing. You don't have to point the remote. The remote could be pointed 180 out, and you can point, and it works. 180 degrees out, and it works. And then, the, just trust me, that cassette deck is super smart and super beautiful, and it's not, the remote goes through um, here, through here, uh, through the receiver, and then pings up. The data goes to the thing, so there's a, there's a data cable. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, that's the. Oh, of course, don't forget the thermostat. 76 degrees. I put that in recently. Uh, that's basically it. That's basically. Oh, and the other thing is this exercise bike. Um, this, this is a hundred dollar exercise bike on Amazon, and I put a fan down there. To blow up my uh, my skirt basically. It's really nice. And then there's a laptop. I just watch media, all kinds of media. Headphones, of course, and the and this is this whole area is very small, actually, very tucked back there. Thing is awesome. That it gets again a million reviews. Everything you see is gets a thousand million reviews. I mean, my opinion. I don't, everything I, I research the fuck out of, and um, that exercise bike has been has been a great thing. I ride for half an hour, get sweaty, just a half an hour, and I'm watching shit in the anyway. So, I mean, it's pretty awesome. I'm watching, you know, whatever, Japanese uh, versus J China, you know, Japanese raping China. I can watch that and just, and I don't even notice that I'm sweating my ass off. It's pretty nice. I do that at night. Oh, and the windows, too. Like, when I'm sitting on that baby, I get two windows, and I get a whole new view. It's awesome of, of my apartment. I've never seen it before, to be honest. And it's really fun to be sitting there because it's like, I don't know, 60 feet down from that window? It's pretty cool. And wind blows right across, and then the fan. So it's a good kit. It, it, it's one of the. It, it's another one of these. Uh, it goes. It's not quite as amazing as this, but it's up there as far as me doing something. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I. I don't think the station, the live station. Yeah, it sounds like shit. It sounds all muddy. Oh! Ugh. No, it sounds compressed and, and, and it, oh, Jesus. It certainly doesn't sound like this. Here, tape one. Isn't that. Isn't that incredibly sad? And there's not a goddamn thing I could say about it. Like, what am I going to say? Oh, you, you changed the quality of it's just like so vague who gives a shit and i could be wrong a new antenna might fix it and i'm getting a new antenna at parts express in a few days but but um i know this thing's really ugly and prominent and i don't use it that much i kind of want to tuck it away back to this guy here love it love it. such an amazing piece of music too oh and then there's a stack o um cassettes this is usually not here but i was i've been going I've been going record ape shit lately, so there's a lot of nice slices out. But um, this is a nice record. I've been buying cassettes from um, a thrift store for 50 cents, and they're mostly classical cassettes. They've never been, they rarely get used, and they have good quality sound to them. And um, uh, what do we got here? Um, Barbara Hendricks. I saw her in concert, actually. I saw her in concert in uh, about 2000. Um, you know, singing uh, uh, opera arias. Anyway, so this looks really cool. 
Uh, it's a nice, and then there's my brush for the records. This looks pretty cool. And um, next to this, uh, this uh, camera. And I bought this camera for, and I had this camera in the 80s. And it was my, it's like, a, it's like, I don't know how to say, it. it's one of the most popular cameras on earth. Um, they sold, I don't know, I don't remember, but it's a really occult camera. And we only wish we had it as kids because it's an instamatic because it's like the the uh, quality of an SLR I bought it for six dollars it's the quality of an SLR but the um, but the size a much smaller size and it's more like po it's point and shooty but it's got it's got a lot of things it's it's good it does, it, again one of my main problems with these cameras old cameras is one that they're not digital obviously but two is they don't um, they need a lot of light to look nice and the fact that this lens is only what a centimeter across doesn't help. You know, it's not like a, it's not a high, it's not a low light camera, a fast quote fast lens. So that's frustrating. Um, that's frustrating um, for the modern because I like low light. I'm a night I'm a nighttime person. I don't go shooting. I don't go in the middle of thing. Oh, here's this guy. It's really HX Pro. So um, B and O invented HX Pro, and they're all proud of it. They were really cassette mad for a while, and they made they made the 9000. The 9000 is the most I had two one of two of them, and they're the most amazing. Ooh, oh, that's a Harley. That's a Harley riding by. Um, so that's my uh, that's my kit basically. That's that's it. I, think, I don't think I forgot anything. Over and out.